Yes. So sweet. So the project for today is to try to install a smart switch in that block building right there. When I say a smart switch, I mean a switch that's connected to the Wi-Fi network of your home and you can tell it to do things via your home network. We have a nice light that's on the overhang in front of this front door and the light works great to light the sidewalk when guests arrive, but the problem being it's the switch is out here in the building and we can't turn it on from inside the house. If I can get that switch to connect to our home Wi-Fi, then maybe I can control this nice light out front from inside the house. The cool thing would be able to say, Alexa, turn on the blockhouse light. So in order for this idea to work, we have to be able to get Wi-Fi to that switch. Hopefully our router will reach and I can configure it to work. So let's go over here and take a look at the router. It's in the garage and we got to find that switch. There they are. That's a smart outlet. Smart outlet. Smart switch. Here it is. Smart switch. All right, so we got this smart outlet and this smart switch through an online reviewing thing where they will send you a product, and if you review it and send them your review, then they will let you keep the product. We've installed the smart outlet, the one that we plugged the Christmas tree into, but I've never used the smart switch. The wire nut. There's a switch. Oh, that's a different color. All right. Well, let's go out there and take that switch out and see what it looks like. Okay, let's gather up some tools. Now, if you're like me, you're going to make about 20 trips from your project back to your toolbox before you can finish a job. But I'm going to try to round up what I think I'm going to need before I start. So first things first, I get a nice little bucket here so I can carry stuff up to the garage. Straight screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, some wire strippers, electrical tape. What else am I going to need? Switch. I think that'll do it. I think you want fed, huh? There you go, kitty. I got one job done for today at least. Are you happy, cat? Oh, sorry to bother you. All right, back to this project. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that the breaker is off to that switch. Fortunately, our breaker is right here, and I think it is number five. Yep, that'll do it. Lights off. I think I can work on it without the risk of being electrocuted now. All right. So this is the switch that we want to replace. Obviously my cover is not going to work with this new switch. Okay, we're going to take this switch out of here. That's taking too long. Alright. There's one trip back to the shop for more tools. I think that'll do it. I got this guy. Square bit. But these are long-winded suckers. Actually, that's the wrong bit. All right. Here's a third trip back to the shop. What else am I going to need? I know what happens. So I'm going to use a good old-fashioned Phillips bit. loud. That saved me some time. All right. I'll take this switch out. All right. Now this switch is a little bit different than what a typical installation would be because I had to 
run a new wire up to the existing light, uh, the power actually lands up at the top. So we can still do this the same way. So this is the load side. This is the power that goes up to the light. And this is the line side, meaning this is the power that is coming from the panel and feeding the switch. So I think on our smart switch, we've got a line side, load side, and then our neutral is tied together in the back of the box. So we'll have to bring a pigtail out to the switch. So I'm going to unhook these. Professional electrician wouldn't have dropped their screwdriver. There we go. Okay, so this new switch only lets you push the wires into the back. You can't hook the wires around the screws like the old switch was. So I gotta straighten out these wires so that they'll push into the back. And then our neutral, we're gonna have to use the little jumper wire and connect that to the neutral, and then we'll bring that in to the neutral terminal on this switch. I need to try to straighten out these hooks as best I can. Handy dandy jumper wire that they gave us in the kit. The wire nut. Seem to be tight. And we're gonna have to tuck this in the back of the box somewhere. All right. So now we've got all the wires we're gonna need. So there's our line side, that's power from the panel. Seems to be tight. And our load side is, in this case, the red wire going up to the light. There's our ground. Neutrals on the other side. The traveler we would use if this was a three way switch application, but since it isn't, I don't have anything to hook there. Now we gotta see if we can get all that stuffed in there. Let's see if that works. We turn the breaker back on. Breaker is on. On. Off. All right, now I got to try to figure out the, uh, the Wi Fi part of it. That looks nice. My dad, the electrician, always wants to make sure that. The screw slots are always pointing the same way. Okay, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi of the house. I think the problem is that the switch is not going to see the Wi-Fi from the house. My phone does, at least right here in the window. It's taking forever. Okay, so the trouble I had was that the Wi-Fi wasn't strong enough at the smart switch location in order to pick up the network and make the switch work properly. But I did use a, a Wi-Fi analyzer app on my phone, and I was able to see that I did have Wi-Fi in the blockhouse closer to the windows 
I had signal for a minute, but I lost it. So if there's a chance I can catch that Wi-Fi and re-radiate it throughout the building, then perhaps it would work. There's the Cove House Extended. I got on Amazon and bought the cheapest uh, Wi-Fi extender I could find. So now I'm going to try to get this configured to work with my switch. Looks like it's going to work. All right, let's take it out to the block house and see if it will work with the smart switch. That was easy to set up. I'm going to try to plug this in to this outlet. Let's see if it'll pick up the Wi-Fi. Because that is in line with the window. There's a window right across. And right there is the garage through the window. So maybe, just maybe, that will pick up that Wi-Fi signal. And then it will rebroadcast it here in the block building. Red. That's not a good sign. So here's my temporary solution for now. I've got the repeater or the range extender in the window and that is successfully picking up the router from in the garage and transmitting quite nicely to the switch. So I think we're good to go. Alexa, turn off the blockhouse light. We can just tell it to turn it on and off. That'll be so nice. Okay, Alexa, turn on the blockhouse light. I gotta walk back out to the shop. Good deal. Alexa, turn off the blockhouse light. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's so cool.